Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Okay, I'm receiving uh, several different type of um, answers over here. Okay, let me give you the answer. A kind of tricky situations, right? But you cannot avoid. These are the common situations which you are going to face. Fine? Okay. So the first thing that Chitra has to do is send an email to team lead first. Okay? That the testing is on hold. She cannot keep quiet. Okay? Chitra cannot keep quiet because this project is not her personal property. She has to update each and every activity what is happening to her team lead. So she is going to send an email to team lead saying that testing is on hold due to non-receipt of test case documents. Did I take Jyoti's name over here? Does it seem like a complaint or an update? I didn't take Jyoti's name over here, okay? I'm just informing that, yes, the testing is on hold. I should inform it to him. Testing is on hold due to non-receipt of the test case document. Fine, okay? Second thing is, you said you wanted to help Chitra on this. I mean, sorry, Jyoti, uh, you know, you wanted to help, okay? So I will tell you, you cannot help her. You should not, okay? Now, let's assume you go to Jyoti's desk and you take the document, you start editing that document, okay? Unfortunately, something has gone wrong over there. Who takes the responsibility? Is it you or is it she who has to take the responsibility? If something goes wrong in these documents, who should take the responsibility? You cannot take the responsibility because there is no, nowhere in the documentation, okay, there is no proof that you have touched that document. Correct? Of course, it will be on her. It will become her responsibility. And she will start saying, okay, I did not do anything. This was done by some different person. How can she say that? Okay, because she owns the document. Whatever happens to the document, she is going to take the responsibility. So better, whatever help you want to provide, provide it offline. Don't touch anybody else's documents like that. Okay? You can touch only when you have a permission for it. Okay, whenever you have the written proof that you are supposed to help Jyoti on the documentation so that you and she both own the responsibility of that document. If anything goes wrong, both are you both of you should be answerable there. Okay? Is it clear everybody? Fine? Okay, yes. We will be coming across, you know, such different scenarios. These are actually the behavioral skills that you got to learn. Okay? You got to be very soft, very polite all the time and, you know, patience should be on the top of your mind. Okay? Yes. And then, approval criteria. So what is this approval criteria? Now you are a tester, means you will be validating the functionalities, right? Means unless and until you provide the approval that a particular functionality is working, we do not consider that as a past case, okay? So in the test case document if you mark it as pass or in the defect report if you mark it as closed, we assume that you have given your approval. 
we assume that you have tested it as per the steps mentioned in the document and you have validated the functionality so this is the approval criteria okay exactly yes suman is uh, saying something over here we also need to fill in a time sheet taken to complete our task and helping others will eat into our time allocated exactly suman you got to fill your time sheets okay and if you are you know like helping jyoti then where are you going to put it into your time sheet you can't put it right so each and every hour that you are going to work in a project that will be entered in the time sheet every hour whatever you did it should be accountable okay mm, no vinita actually uh, we should not relate uh, the sprint over here okay fine next thing the testing process and the test deliverables what are test deliverables at the end of our project or the testing we are supposed to submit the documents okay jofi has another question here so do we get the help from other testers or any doubts yes jofi like that you will be getting okay but if they suggest you something wrong you will be the responsible person for it okay so make sure you take the suggestions no problem people are going to help you you also should help your team members okay but make sure who has the responsibility of that okay you can help no problem all right but make sure okay you or the other person don't end up in the problem all right and also you should be you know little bit sensitive about the team environment you know if it is a very reactive kind of environment it's better to stay quiet okay if it is like you know friendly kind of environment yes when everybody is helping each other look at the work culture you know that prevails within that team based on that you can make a decision okay but always think of being on the safer side okay then um test deliverables so you have the test case documents test execution report and the defect uh, report over here these are nothing but at the end of your testing process these documents are to be submitted to your team lead and he will submit them to the project manager project manager will deposit them into the project repository okay not just as a testing team okay even the development team design team your ba everybody has to submit the documents that they have prepared what is the purpose of this why should we store all the documents of a project okay future reference how is it going to be used in future yes how is it going to be used in the future okay project history fine client reference yes if any issue comes for the maintenance purpose very good yes for updating right okay so everybody is correct the purpose of having the test deliverables is or any documents is we have to store them for the future reference so that in case any maintenance issues or you know the client is not happy and there is some legal issues these documents can help your company if we go for the upgradation if we go for the migration of the platform these documents are going to be helpful okay then the testing tasks you know very well what you are going to do like understand the requirements and then prepare the test case test data defect tracking defect reporting and all but here again they are explicitly mentioned by your team lead which you can follow then we have the responsibilities over here this is your team we have the project manager project coordinator ba team lead and all so we have the list of the people who are involved in your team so that you know your team well in case uh, any assistance required you can contact these people then within the testing team again there are separate teams for example design we have different team for testing we have a different team right so you might be belonging to either of them and based on what team you are belonging let's say you belong to the design team okay 
then you got to refer to the schedule wherein you have to find out when are you going to start with the test case preparation you have to look here in the schedule and from that date you should start with your work okay so schedule is nothing but list of activities along with the start date and the end date and then you have the environmental requirements now when you are in a project of course you will be assigned with your computer or a system and you should take care of that system by making sure that all the software that you require are installed and how do you know what are the software that are required refer here which operating system which technology what are the testing tools that you require what is the database that you require you got to find out from this requirement list okay and make sure they are installed in case they are not installed what to do yes tell me what will you do in case any software is not installed i mean your testing tool let's say you need qtp and it is not installed what are you going to do okay now in this training you know we are going to provide you the link from where you can download and install the qtp so are you going to use this in your project when you go would you download from there and install it because you know right how to download and install the qtp we are going to teach you here are you going to use it yes or not exactly you should not install it no you should not install okay you should not install in fact any of the software even though it is freely available even though you have some personal license on it you should not install it what could be the reason two reasons one is the license issue okay if you should not you know use any kind of software that is not licensed you should only use the licensed version of the software in your project okay which should be licensed from your company second thing is the security reason you might end up downloading the software from a site which may not be safe it can affect your computer when your computer gets affected it is in the network the server and also the other computers might get affected right so even if it is a trial version or demo version any single software you want you got to contact your admin team okay there will be a system admin in your project if it is a complex or you know if it is a huge project otherwise there will be one centralized team in your company who will take care of all the installation of all the projects you got to contact them and they will install the software on your computer and before they do the installation they will ask you to get a permission from your project manager because it is related to the billing issue the license has to be purchased right so they are going to ask you to take a confirmation from your project manager write a letter to him i mean email to him he will confirm it send it to the system admin he will install the software okay is it clear everybody so you should not install the software it's not your work then risk and contingencies so what are the risks and contingencies in the project now you take any project definitely there will be one or the other risk and at the same time we should have some alternate plan okay for example okay you plan for something let's say um you have plan for a qa job okay what if you do not get a qa job you should have a plan b always with you let's say you are also taking the ba course here if not qa job we can go for a ba job so always you should have your plan b ready similarly here also any risk that can come up okay you should have a contingency or you should have some alternate plan there for example okay due to some reason the schedule is skipped these are common things okay always we do not pl uh, follow the plan sometimes due to some unex So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website 
h2kinfosys.com On our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class the demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information if you still have more questions please feel free to call us call us at 770 Seven 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 one two six nine. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at zero two zero three three seven one seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.